Yes, they have questions. Um, um, so, I love what you talk about. Um, how tightly do you choreograph your movements around the stage? I noticed that you have sort of specific paths you travel on, and I was wondering if your movements are choreographed in advance, or if you let that be in a more free form, and why you made that decision. So, like, for instance, um, some, some movements are just, I know what the movement is going to be, but I don't necessarily know where I'm going to be on stage. So, for instance, when I was doing this one, going across here, I, I knew I wanted to end up over there, so it's sort of like, oh no, I'm over here, let me back up, I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, that is one thing. Um, there's this move with this, I don't even know, I don't actually know if this has a name to it, but it's reasonably easy that it's just a move that I do when I'm trying to get into position somewhere, and when the singing is really hard, for me to do is, so like, oh no, this is hard to sing. <laughs> okay. like the, the hardest part, one of the hardest parts to sing is, is one where I'm just like doing this because I know that if I do something complicated, I'm not going to be able to sing that part. Yeah. Thank you. So this is a further development from the one you provided for us last time. What can you tell us about continuing to develop with all the difficulty of breath control, singing, dancing, spinning, thinking about where your spinning is, plus your singing while picking up your moves. Um, so the, the first time, I don't know if all of you necessarily saw it, but the first time I performed at Wildfire, I had well, I'd never been Wildfire before. I knew all of the like, few moves to do spinning and spin together. <laughs> <laughs> this thing here. So, um, when I started, my, my opening was something like spinning this way, spinning, and doing this, not really thinking about where the audience is, and then after taking some classes at Wildfire, I thought, oh, you know, make, it would make more sense to do it. And you just like this. So that's, that's one change I made. Also, just having more moves is very helpful. Um, but again, like there are some things that just didn't work with movements. Like this, I just figured out how to do how to do this, but it just doesn't happen fast enough to go with the music at all. So I have to be doing something. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah. Thank you. So technically speaking, you've obviously been working through that. Tell us a bit about your process, things you learned about how to practice that works for you. Uh -huh. Technically, you also work with breathing. Some people will be doing really busking and have to talk while they do things. That's a very yeah. unique these arts. So, both from the practice side of just technical skill and maybe the performance side of technically how you do that. Can you answer those two questions? Um, wait, wait, wait. So start with just a, yeah, I'm doing this. I guess a, it's a shh, shh. Um, technically, let's start with uh, just your voice. Is there a particular um, practice method that you found that works really well for you? Um, pushes you. you just have to make sure that you can sing during the movement that you're doing. Like I noticed when I was practicing, like when I, I do this part and I'm singing, um, if you're holding a long note, it's a bad, probably a bad idea to transition to a different trick in the middle of the note because it tends to mess things up a little. It just won't sound right. So you have to really just get the movements down, leave yourself enough breath, like if you're really out of breath, it's probably a bad idea. I mean, it depends on how comfortable you're feeling. The stuff I did today, like I totally wouldn't be able to do last September when I came here, like each in the I just like, oh no. But um, when, when it's... <laughs> Right, to keep my center in, in a good position for singing. And 
Any thought on bringing LED or lighter to help engage the audience? That would be cool. I just, I got these because I wasn't sure, like, what environment I wanted to do them in. Like, I wanted to use Eventually I would learn how to do fire play, which I did the first time last night. <laughs>